know if I can do this because it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm cooking my supper. I've already kind of wasted my whole day. But I'm afraid I'll lose it. Lose what's going on. So. I guess by now, yeah, my certain aspect of my stance is clear. I appreciate, I appreciate atheists, and I appreciate their critical thought. I appreciate the criticism of the. patriarchal, hierarchical structures of power that have been harmful. That doesn't always come across in the way that I speak. So unfortunately there's this communication breakdown. Because clearly, I speak to something which is most high. Even though I'm a slob and a mess. I guess my, my major criticism about atheism is that the key proponents of that these days, like, they are very correct in the way that they attacked, attack the naive notions of God. So without that voice, that attack on essentially false gods, which is the prevailing god, couldn't be made. My, my criticism is, or my, my critique, or my contribution is that all along the, the criticism isn't isn't to destroy the false gods such there such that there be no most high but to to destroy the roadblock of the unmost high to get to the most high when people say you got to work within you got to work within yourself and I get that and the amount of work I have to do within myself is monumental. It's so huge. I, I basically doubt that what is meant to be achieved in the potentiality of this potentially glorious form that I find disgusting. I find myself disgusted. the truth for good, for good cause but the spark within me and the hope within me outshines overshadows but mostly outshines all that ugliness so it is that very weak small and true thing in me that overpowers the very weak dark And cynical thing within me, enough so that I press record. <laughs> I 
but anyway, it's all this science versus religion, science versus religion. Math often gets left out of the discussion. The efficaciousness of science is math, patterns. The efficaciousness of religion is ritual, repeatability, repeatability patterns. On the mundane level, and at a higher level, it's the recognition of, recognition of spiritual patterns. But we too often confuse math and patterns with processes. Like, in a sense, algorithms aren't math. Some are, some aren't. To my mind, math is like the order of orders. Some processes, some patterns, some habits, some rituals speak to the order of the universe. Some simply speak to lower order habits, patterns, things we do to get by in a more short term level. I get minute to minute with these. I get day to day with these. I'm a very low order being. But I refuse to neglect Despite the fact that I'm such a low order being, I, re I refuse to neglect the most high within me. It's the only thing that's going to get me beyond where I'm at. And as bad as this shit is, it doesn't touch how bad all this shit is, how bad all this shit is, and how bad all this motherfucking shit is that raised this thing. That said, I also don't want to deny the great, like, you know, grace, glory of the Most High, but also every intermediary. Every person out there I got beef with who's living in this world that eats itself trying to do their best, trying to give what they have to give, while trying to also make their own, you know, that's a big deal, I don't want to burn my mushrooms,
All right, so my supper's ready. I'm gonna see if this works. I'm gonna pause this, and I'm gonna butter my bread, so to speak. I use coconut oil though, instead of butter. Get my, it's asparagus, mushrooms, and onions, with a little bit of turmeric, and oregano. It's gonna be fucking delicious. And then, an avocado, tomato, onion, cilantro, chutney. This is a great wealth to the average American that's just like run of the mill, you know? Oh yeah, good for you, food bragging. Or like, stupid fuck shit, you know? But like, to the world of human history, like, that's abundance beyond compare. It's abundance beyond compare. If I told Benjamin Franklin, hey Benjamin Franklin, this is what I'm having for supper tonight. One of the smartest dudes who ever lived, he'd be like, what kind of king are you? a great abundance. He walked penniless with a loaf of bread to get where he got. We got it all. Fists and elbows. There's a guy who knew, yeah, fork, forks, forks and elbows. I'll be back. So I got the, I got my meal going. Um, don't think I only eat this little. I'm actually much more of a hog than that. I, uh, I got a lot more in my pan. Got a few more pieces of bread. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll continue tomorrow. But I'm gonna eat my supper and hit the hay. Cause it's already been a little bit kind of a dumb long day. <laughs>